Okay. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this morning's meeting of the Architecture Review and Planning Board. Um, we are about to start. As you see, we have three of us here today. We have a quorum so we can proceed with all the business in front of us. And with that, um, today, please can you take the roll call? Mr. Canfield? Yes. Mrs. Power? Yes. Chairman Murphy? Yes. Please let it be also noted that in attendance are our town manager, Greg Dunham, our assistant town attorney, Ed Nazaro, myself, and absent with notice, our vice chairman Doherty, Curtis Roach, Georgette Smith, Michael Green, and Amanda Jones. Uh, I hope you've had a chance to do this. I hope you've had a chance to read the minutes. Last meeting May 25th. Are there any amendments? Otherwise, can I ask for a motion to approve? Make a motion to approve. Mr. Canfield? Yes. Mrs. Power? Yes. Chairman Murphy? Yes. Are there any additions, withdrawals, other items for the agenda this morning? I don't have any. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. As you can see, the date, the year is standing out before us. It's always scary when you see December on here already. Um, but uh, if, as usual, if you've got any dates when you can't make, please could you let me know. And I do need to know ASAP because I have quite a few of you not here for July. So I need to make sure we have a quorum. Okay. You're okay. okay. So I just need one more because I think the rest of them are out of town. Thanks, we'll send the boys on. And with that, we'll move on to the public hearing part of our meeting this evening. Um, I please do you oh, sorry, any ex parte communication about the applications in front of us this morning? No. Excuse me. Renee, please can you miss the folks? Is there anybody here wishes to speak this morning? Raise your right hand. Swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you God. Okay. If I don't know your name, make sure I get it before you leave. Thank you. And with that, we move on to the first application presented to us this morning. And who would like to present? I will. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, my name is Kristen Walters. I'm with KWD Landscape Architecture, and we are making some changes to the front uh, facade of the uh, of the O'Neill residence. Um, Renee, can you go to the second page? Further, yes. Okay, so we are proposing this is to get you oriented. This is the west side, that's the ocean side. And maybe, maybe if you can make it a little bit smaller, we see the whole thing. Sorry, I'm trying. Let me see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's not giving me nothing. Huh. We got it in front of you. The brown here signifies the existing um, to be removed, and this is the existing wall. And then the gray is the new wall, which starts here. And the blue is the proposed new wall. Mm -hmm. And if you scroll you know, down, You'll see more. Um, this this small wall here is being removed. We're keeping this gray wall, and then at the very end, there's one more pier and one more, or, yeah, one more pier and one little section of the wall, which will remain. Thank you. Um, so if you can go to the next page. Or go down. It's like there's a little big step here. This is the detail showing um, the new pier yeah. at the corner um, and the new wall, which will match the existing height of, uh, or the height of the existing walls mm -hmm. and the height of the existing uh, piers. Okay, I think we can scroll. 
um, we are removing some shrubs and ground cover. It's pretty, it's, it's a mess in this corner here. Um, we're, we're leaving the existing ficus here. Um, we're putting in new hedges. Um, they're fiber hedges back here. Um, we're putting in new clusia hedges, which are inside of the wall. So those will be um, a little bit taller than the wall. Um, and then these are the existing Australian pines. And if you can scroll down a little bit, we're putting just a little bit of ficus green island at the um, exit. This is actually the exit to the property. Um, and then we're keeping the Australian pines here. We're keeping the existing um, uh, sable palm. Um, we're keeping these two existing coconuts and adding another coconut here for three. And then over on the south entry, it's hard to tell, but this is the entry. This is where people come in. And to signify it, we put a little hibiscus here with some color so he can tell his friends. Um, you know, when you see the tree with the hibiscus or the hibiscus flowers turn, um, and then we have that um, uh, uh, some brown cover also um, on either side of the driveway. And this is also an existing tree. Actually, there's a shared portion of this with this neighbor. So we're not we're not doing anything here um, except to um, uh, add some like this green island. And this is a Photoshop uh, image to show you what this will look like. Here's an existing coconut in the background, another existing coconut, a proposed coconut. We're keeping the sable palm, keeping the Australian pines, keeping the Australian pines and doing that by burning hedge. And then the, the fluzy hedge, fluzy hedge in the back there on the other side wall. This is the ficus green island, ficus green island. And there's that hibiscus together for the ficus green island. That's it. That's is that the rendition as it would appear? Yes. yes. Not that thing at the front of the road. Correct. This is, this is what it will look like. Um, and you mentioned about the neighbors' shared fortune. Have you had any feedback from the neighbors in terms of? We have not. Yeah. Um, oh, that's, that's it. Any other questions? So, just from staff, real quick. Um, so, we do have some existing <clears throat> Australian pines out there. If you want to A1A, what's the planning distance between what you're going to be planting and how will that maybe impact the root system? And, and what are you it, doing? It won't. It's, it's, it's inside we check. And that was one of the concerns. So this is just soft here because we can't plant mm -hmm. anything, you know, because the root, but the viburnum hedge will be able to go. Thank you. And I have one question. Is that, is that what the existing day looks like? Yes, okay. this is the existing day. Okay. Mm -hmm. If there's no more questions, we can ask for several motions. All right. Mm -hmm. I like can make a motion to approve a demolition permit to remove the existing wall on the west side of the property. Mr. Kanko? Yes. Mrs. Power? Yes. Chairman Murphy? Yes. I can make a motion to approve a lifeboat permit to remove old vegetation. Mr. Kanko? Yes. Mrs. Power? Yes. Chairman Murphy? Yes. I can make a motion to approve an approachable or overlay permit to install a new wall and vegetation along the west side of the property. Second that. Mr. Canfield. Yes. Mrs. Power. Yes. Chairman Murphy. Yes. Right. Motion to approve a level two architectural site plan to use to permit the construction of a wall eight foot columns so along the state road, even and the place full land. Mr. Canfield. Yes. Mrs. Power. Yes. Chairman Murphy. Yes. Thank you. That was good. With that, we move on to the next application. In front of us,
Dustin, are you presenting for? Yes. yes. And can you please uh, be sworn by the clerk? Tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you guys? I do, thank you. Good morning. Dustin, Mike, the Open Environment Design Group. Just wanted to uh, 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 quickly uh, respond to some comments that came from uh, the town attorney. I think that Friday, and, um, I think we can go through the comments. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. okay, we can start with that. Yeah, yeah. great, great. It's your presentation. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, first of all, one of the requests was to bring a sample of the proposed paper. So, is it okay if I just pass this around with me? <clears throat> It's a shell of concrete paper made by Belgard. Very nice, very coastal. Um, you know, it has some interest to it, so it's not flat in any way. So I think that uh, with the turbine is really very nice and a very nice contrast. Um, the second uh, uh, item that came out in the staff report as well was on our landscape lighting plan. Um, we had indicated wattage as opposed to lumens. You know the maximum amount of lumens for the town is 1,600. Um, the highest uh, proposed fix that we have is 680 lumens, so it's really, really less. And it's a high end picture and it is brass, uh, which is what you recommend the pictures. Um, the third item then come up um, was relative to the uh, tree removal. And, um, you know, unfortunately we didn't find something today, but, um, you know, I did talk to him again a little bit about the history, like how that happened. And um, it really was, at least from our contractor and our, um, one of my project managers, a little bit of miscommunication that came through a site walkthrough saying, you know, I think we should remove these royals and, you know, we're going to have a better ultimate look at the end. And the contractor took that as remove them now. Uh, so it was unfortunate. So it was no ill intent in any, in any way. Uh, but we're happy to look at the landscape plan we're proposing. And I know one of the comments was a consideration of mitigating some that have been removed. So we're happy to look at that this morning. So I'll go ahead and continue the presentation. Then. Great. Great. Thank you. I don't have anything. Did, let me see if they sent it. I'm sorry. Do you have a hard copy? No, I do. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Well, wonderful. It's fine. Yeah. fine. Well, we can just go ahead and jump to the um, uh, site plan. Public can bear with us because I'm sorry. So you can see the, um, <coughs> excuse me, the proposed, <coughs> the proposed motor card in front with the paving sample I passed uh, with the paving inlay. Um, also, uh, the new uh, driveway entry um, and the side and legs and the part of the property. And just the, the pool is existing, it's just being modified. It has some kind of old uh, angles to it and curves that um, with the transitional part of the architecture improvements. Uh, I think this turn of the pool uh, makes sense as well. So, it really just kind of clean the overall site plan, elevate the material, um, and really relate it more to the house as opposed to uh, the original design. Um, Looking at the landscape plan, um, again, uh, the issue with the royals uh, in the front was it was more of a promenade, not necessarily relating to the architecture of the house. And as you uh, know, you get approved architecture enhancements. Uh, the house was, was, a, was a really you know, nice upgrade. So we felt that a more formal motor port uh, with a palm uh, entry as well. Uh, so, you know, we've added the day palms, the semester palms at the front. So it's going to create like this uh, colonnade as far as these palms. Uh, at, at the entry, so we thought that was a significant improvement. Uh, we looked at the possibility by the garage of removing uh, that big ficus, uh, that band in there. There was some structural concerns uh, and even some issues. So uh, we worked with an arborist and it really felt like that we could keep that tree and it was worth doing. So you know, once we kept that tree and then added that you know, big semester pumps, uh, the world then became more uh, of an issue as far as it didn't make sense aesthetically. Uh, we are keeping the one in the south corner and also proposing uh, a few trees as, as well. Um, as far as the backyard, uh, it's very simple. It's very open on the waterfront and one to the lot. Uh, so those palms will remain there. And again, it was really just a small modification to the pool. In addition to the hardscape and some of the planting changes there, um, you know, the landscape providing, uh, I think we addressed that already. Um, it's understated. I, I think it's fine. Great pictures. And if you look at the uh, front elevation sheet three, Point zero. Um, 
you can see with keeping the, the ficus, uh, adding the date palms or the entry, the royal on the south side, um, so the few that uh, the royals that they did take up the front uh, just didn't relate to the architecture, didn't relate to formality and what, what port. And uh, we feel that you know, the date palms are a lot heavier and substantial. Uh, so that would at least mitigate you know, two of them, uh, if not a two to one ratio of four is kind of our reasoning. Um, but if you feel differently, we're happy to uh, uh, you know, mitigate some and, and uh, look at maybe some open or something. And that would be a pleasure of the commission. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can I draw attention to the point sorry, about artificial turf? Because on the plans in front of us, it still states artificial turf, and this is a level two. Right. So I did reach out to the owner. I um, can't remember what I've been in the topic for, but he has. Uh, expressed interest in including artificial turf, and he's been sort of communicating with me on the status of an ordinance that will allow it. So that is still in process, and I did confirm uh, with him that that is not going to be artificial turf, and that is not included on this application. Uh, in the event that the commission passes an artificial turf ordinance, which we're working on currently, uh, it will be the purview of the ARPB to review those, um, and then we will see. You know, perhaps this house is, is likely one of our first applications that would include our original term, but that is not part but of this. Long as we are reviewing this as if the grass areas are a soft. That's correct. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's just so exactly that. It's 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 all how it works. On this plan in front of us, so the artificial term. So, which, so in the driveway, mm -hmm. uh, in the front and rear, that is typically permitted. Uh, currently under the uh, staff's interpretation um, on one of the plans, there is a large section that is called the artificial turf. We yeah. see, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that is not going to be our project. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I'm moving on to the landscape, as you say, to the tax situation. And um, we've had this issue before where, you know, for whatever reasons, the vegetation landscape removed, and then they can forgive us. I can't put it in the other way. It's a case of it's, it's, it's something which is. Don't tolerate this. Um, and so we have to make sure that what we are going forward with is really makes up for that. Um, yeah. Basically, abuse of rules. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So I think looking at this is um, we just confirmed what was taken out from. Yes, sir. I'm dealing with sheet L1.0. Uh, there were four royal palms mm -hmm. uh, along the right way. That were removed. Uh, the two central ones, let's call it the two to the north. Yep. Um, it is right in the location of the new motor port entry. Mm -hmm. um, the two to the south, it's actually the, 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 the farthest north one on the south, um, now will compete with the new date palm. Mm -hmm. And then the one south, <laughs> excuse me, I'm going to my mic. <laughs> wrote this one. The one to the south um, is a little too close to the existing role if you are maintaining. Um, so obviously there was reason behind it. The process was not correct, mm -hmm. uh, but there, there, it's a site plan issue. So thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm choked up about these walls. <laughs> That's why well, you should be. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah. you should be. You know. <clears throat> so uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you. So we can see the efforts you've made here. Yes, sir. Um, and, and again, I did speak to my client actually even this morning, and we're happy to mitigate it. Yeah. I mean, we, again, it's, it's, it was a misunderstanding. Uh, again, we feel the two significant palms would at least replace the two, uh, but it, we're happy to replace um, the other two that would, uh, are not being replaced um, with native palms or, or, or pretty coconuts or something. Um, a little more appropriate to the house, maybe not royals. The house doesn't have that formal feel anymore. Um, the two really nice coconuts, or if you prefer they be native, we can do some patch palm or something. Um, and in native sources, or somewhere along the Yeah, yeah. But I think a native substitution would be appropriate because as well as native. Um, so we can do maybe some pretty patch palms uh, or from the sables or something. Um, uh, we're, we're, happy, we're certainly happy to do that. With no intent. So there are four removed and replaced two. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yes, they're running replaced one. Two. Yes. Yes. Sir. Because of the mm -hmm. uh, Yeah. This, the math is simply the math of three, four out, two back. 
Yeah. Agreed. Doesn't suck up. One hundred percent. Yeah. Um, so, um, just as far as the rear of the property is concerned, were there some additional trees removed in the rear of the property as well, or was that part of a previously approved landscape mix? Yes, there was some ornamental um, vegetation on the south end of the pool that was removed. Um, I don't know um, if that was previously approved. Um, this project's come through several approvals, and, and uh, I really don't know the answer to that, but yes, for sure, there was a proper pause. Um, nothing like the royals or anything that on the south of the pool that had to be removed from pool construction. So I'm not sure if that's part of the original demo that our fixed plan. Do we know? Uh, I, I don't, I'm not sure. And I know that they were remodeling the pool, so I'm assuming that that was already done previously. Yeah. I would also like to note that there, I believe there are a line of I don't know if the royals or some nice palms at the rear of the property. Yes. Uh, you know, so as far as the rear is concerned, I think that we're, we're, we're fine with that. I and mean, it's really just, uh, if we're quantifying four to two, I just want to make sure the num number was the six. If we were also right. moving in, in, in the rear. Yeah. 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 One point one, there's still a cluster of palms around four. Right. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. It's a little yeah. more than one that's so. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't, maybe it's a better way to say it wasn't anything significant. It was just a pop up, mm -hmm. you know, pops. Um, so, so again, I, I, unfortunately, I don't know if that was approved or not. Also, several seem to have been on the, or are being on the ballot. They have been not the long and long property where that artificial turf box is. Yeah, that's a fish. To just two palms. Okay. It's a fish shade of palms. Yeah. yeah. Been and, and this is like going to, like, yeah, so they have this whole yeah. Thing, yeah. yeah, and then those two are still there. So, yeah. where this? And, and you're saying that there's a little palm from the, from the back, will be relocated. Do you know what that's saying? Um, no, we just have no tongue in the field. Everybody's being laid out in the field, someone's back there. <clears throat> As far as <clears throat> part of the north property line, we're removing the fish shell, which are you know, a little trashy looking and playing some of the pretty clean pussy hedge. Mm -hmm. um, and so it'd be nice to see the coconuts. Um, it would be, be pretty for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I wish we knew what had been approved previously. I'm looking okay. quickly. I have a landscape plan. Will that help? This was the initial one which was approved in March 
Concerned that we were approaching this as a, just a modification to the front area, not looking at this as a complete piece of metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it looks, it's, it actually looks simple, it's actually more problems in that we have to move along. But now we have the back here, yeah. that wasn't really on the radar. And the pool, in fact, it's the other areas. Cool. Okay. Um, may I ask the question? That yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Um, the I think the critical path for us really would be to to, to lock down the site plan just for material purchase, timing, construction. Um, 
the pool is major, but the gravity is just, this is four little counter circles in the corner, so we just squared it off. So it's probably a little less than full modification, and it sounds a little grand. Um, I, if we could potentially just get the site plan approved today, I'm more than happy to come back next month with a predisposition plan. I'm the land site specialist. Right. Yeah. The specialist? Oh, did you say something about the you wanted somebody else to inspect? Oh, no, no, sorry. I mentioned we had had an R versus confirmed oh. uh, But I'm happy to come back with a mitigation plan and a landscape plan. Yes. So you really feel comfortable with that. So at least you can Yeah, I think switching guidance is the it's really if you can address this is what we approved in March. Yeah. This is what we've done now, taking into account the you know breaking the code, and this is how we're going to mitigate it. As in these areas, this is the north, this is the north, this is the south, this is the front. And and then that gives far better um, understanding and it will be a new action set, a new application. Not as it's presented to us in modification. Correct, happy to do that. But if there's any way that the site plan portion could at least we can order material before. So if the ARPB is comfortable, you can direct staff to, to approve the site plan, but retain jurisdiction over the major modification landscape plan to be heard from this meeting. If that's acceptable. You like the way the paper is still. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so so move. Yeah. Okay, so we're approving the site. That's it. Okay. And with a guidance to come back, yes. I'm going to show you what we do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. With a full landscape. Full landscape. Full landscape. Full landscape. What was existing previously approved? Yeah. What was done without permit? How we're mitigating it? Here's all for that. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Let's give it a shot. I'd like to make a motion to approve the site plan today, provided the full landscape plan will be presented at the next ARP meeting. Second. Mr. Canfield. Yes. Mrs. Power. Yes. Chairman Murphy. Yes. So and thank you for your patience. No, So our next meeting is July 27th. We do not have the last meeting, so it's imperative to get on that July 27th. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks for the wide tip as well. Yeah. Uh, so, good morning. I'm the record Mark Marsh, architect, Prince Marsh and Associates. Along with me today is Tom Murphy, attorney representing the project, and Corey Mayer, um, Mary Navarro, or Navarro Williams, uh, uh, landscape architects. Mary Navarro, unfortunately, had a family uh, problem with the treatment then. Um, we're here to represent the Smith Family Living Trust um, in this uh, project on 1919 North Ocean Boulevard. Um, this house was designed by us back in 1996. Um, it's what I think one of our best and finest works we've ever done. <coughs> we've all been, had the opportunity to see the project or the property, but it's really quite a concept. And it's actually what we came along to term Anglo Caribbean. It's become, for many years, I've been using that since 96. So. Um, you, this is the overall aerial of the property, the blue or the red dot, uh, illustrating the uh, trust property. As you can see, I was here last a few weeks ago, representing the name to the north, the Gulf Stream Golf Club. Um, that's an 18 hole. On the south side is the James Northwine uh, residence. Which I'll get into a little uh, further later on. Um, obviously, there are no neighbors east or west. Um, the survey of this property is uh, showing the actual area of the property is 2.8, almost 2.8 acres for purposes of development under the uh, zoning criteria. The lot is only 1.7 um, in terms of 
its effective life. The importance here, and sorry, go back for a second, is this is not only an as built survey showing the existing buildings and hardscape and other permanent elements. We purposely um, had the surveyor go out and tag all the trees on the property that you saw in the area that's a very lush and, and um, natural site. Um, and so there are over a hundred trees that have been tagged and labeled. Um, and you can see on the column on the top left. Um, and the importance of this is that, and Corey will get into this later, is we wanted to mitigate where we can. In other words, if a tree has to be re removed for purposes of what we're proposing, that they could be relocated to other areas. So there's actually going to be very little new landscaping upon the property as long as it's application. Um, to go to the next. <laughs> um, this is just a close up of the, the main, where the main uh, residence is. And then this is a garage we're asking to demolish. And then we'll expect. Uh, next, please. This is our site plan. Um, and again, the areas that are in the kind of beige, light beige color are the areas that we're proposing to add to the property. Um, the gray up in the top area is the existing residence, which we are not affecting very much. We are doing an addition, which I'll show you a minor addition. But the proposal is to add, demolish a existing garage on that exists on the south side of the the main residence and <clears throat> build a new two story, one story uh, building that's going to accommodate, and I'll show you the plan of some staff and, and guest room accommodation. The other additions are a gatehouse uh, on the main entry and two small, they're termed casitas, they're really one bedroom cottages. Um, Along those are requiring special exceptions, which Tom will address uh, shortly. The other change is a new swimming pool on the top uh, in the northeast of the property. Uh, when we did the house originally, there was no desire for a pool, which is quite unusual. But now, updating and more family involvement in this uh, property, a pool has become a necessity in the program. The, uh, the driveway will be modified. Um, currently, on the survey, you might have noticed it, it looped here. And the intent of that was to create more of an estate arrival to the property. Now we are, the original house was not on the caliber or the scale of a true estate. But what we're proposing here is becoming a Brill Smith family living trust estate for the family um, to come and use, you know, mainly seasonal. Uh, so the driveway is going to go a little bit more direct to a new motor court and then to the new service court area. The lawn that's there now, we're going to expand on that so that the property is going to look much more open. Um, there's an LA of sea bricks which we're going to, on the existing, we're going to use which uh, Corey will go over shortly. Uh, but we're going to have this lovely verge of lawn with these casitas and the gatehouse kind of hidden and, uh, within the, some of the existing and some of the mitigated landscaping. Next, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back. Just in terms of data, um, as I said, it's 1.7 acres of effective lot area. Um, what we're adding is a little over 4,000 square feet um, by ordinance or code. We're allowed to have uh, 17,000. We're with this proposal, we're just a shade over 15,000. So we have not, by any means, 
uh, max data or developable here for new construction. This is the existing residence, and to give you an orientation, the top is east, the bottom is west. This is the garage that we're going to uh, demolish. We're going to leave the pergola, you might have noted on the site plan, we are going to add another pergola. It's a linkage to the, the new auto building. Um, again, it's with respect to the main residence that we're not competing with it. I'll go into that later. Next, please. This is the second floor, which has four bedrooms. They're labeled bedrooms. These are the unique thing of the existing house. Of each bedroom has a sitting room. And we have these little uh, outdoor sleeping porches, which are shuttered areas that you can open. And it's again, very Caribbean in nature. And that was the intent. Uh, none of that's changing. We will be, as I said, removing the, the garage building and the little expansion of the new plan. Continue, please. Uh, this is the new plan. And again, orientation has changed because of property or the building is rather long. So we get a reasonable scale. We're now, this is new, now south, east, west, and obviously north. This is the existing pergola, which we're going to keep linking to the existing residence. Again, one of the things when we did this, the kitchen was truly a service kitchen. They had a filter, um, and there's a butler, and you know, it was much more formal, um, unlike today's lifestyle. So the kitchen, what we're proposing is adding a uh, breakfast area here. Um, what? We got a big <laughs> uh, the breakfast area here in this, again, just to accommodate more of a lifestyle. Uh, we're linking, uh, adding a, a, a replica of the existing pergola on this east, linking this new guest bedroom wing, expanded garage. There's a garage. The garage, and this is an office which actually is going to be more of a gymnasium. Go ahead, please. On the upper floor, as I mentioned earlier, each of the bedrooms currently has a uh, sitting area, a more private area that you can relax in adjacent to the bedroom. So, this was the only bedroom uh, that was not, didn't have. So, we're adding a sitting room here. Uh, again, so you can look at the ocean. And then you can see this is the second floor uh, suite, guest suite. Then there's the back of the house items, house management, laundry, AV, and storage. This is two story, the garage is one story. That's, and I'll show you the importance of that shortly. This is the roof plan. The existing roof plan doesn't change, obviously. This is a pergola. That will be a flat area which reflects what the original architecture was. The linkage is a two story and one story uh, of the garage wing. Um, what we do here, and we like to do, is do a comparison of before and after. It's, it's a good way of, kind of picture, painting a picture of what we're proposing. The upper rendering is the existing. West space, and you can see the balance of the house. It's very well balanced. Uh, you don't want to interrupt that at all. Uh, in what we're proposing would be a single story, which would be a gym or a garage, and then in the distance, a two story, basically uh, guest wing, again, linked by a pergola. So there's very there's no disturbance to which I think is the, the most effective elevation on this residence. Next, please. <clears throat> Again, this is the east elevation. You can see that's the existing main house. This is a new breakfast and that little sleeping porch or a sitting room. The toilet, this this was the kitchen, sorry, currently. What we're proposing here is doing a breakfast here, which would have a 
ocean view that's that view of the sitting room, the new pergola linking, and then this is that two story uh, guest sw suite area. And you can see the architecture is <coughs> continuing. I've said this on my left side of here. We don't want to have a contrast. We want to, if it's that of that quality, obviously, we want to replicate or extend. This is a look, and the importance I want to point out here, and I should have on the site back. The existing entry from the motor court is in this location here. And for the last almost 30 years, nobody has ever used that gate. And if you remember on the, the west elevation, the front door is right center in that lower veranda. So there's no way to kind of have a formal entry to the house. People used to come through the kitchen, through the back door, or there is a, um, a kind of informal at the end of that west uh, veranda, a pair of doors that, again, was never used. I would say 80 to 90% of even businesses would be coming through the, the kitchen. So uh, Corey will show you that uh, on his site now. Next, please. This is the existing, this is kind of a cut through the between where the pergolas and the main house are. That's what the garage looks like from the pergola area. And this is what the new wing looks like with the two story area here um, and the one story garage and gym. Again, note the linkage, everything is linked by covered walkways. So it's a very rambling, casual um, effect. And as I said, by separating, this really can exist. Uh, so that's the existing garage. This is the new wing on the south. The garage is the gym, two-story area. Also, I must note, sorry, go back one. Uh, the materials that we're using, obviously, the roof is slate. Um, all the new roofs will be matching slate. The building color will be that kind of butter cream uh, color. Uh, windows are all white. Uh, shepherds are what we term the balance of blue. It's definitely like a spherical blue color. So everything's going to match, and you'll see in the rendering, the rendering shortly, uh, the color uh, combination. Next piece. So. This is the gatehouse, which is, um, and you'll see it when the court comes up. It's a very modest building. We're limited to 500 square feet. I think we're a shade out there, just to be honest. <laughs> uh, but it's really set up for a management, on site management um, use, where there's a small office. And if there's in the winter time when the people are in residence, they, this person can have it's a small bedroom there, and then the rest of it is just general storage uh, for the property. But you can see it's, it's very, the form is very much reflecting, you know, in a much more minute uh, form the, the elements of the main building. It's not a matching, but it's, it's complementing the, the main house. Continue. This is one of the casitas, a little L shape. And it says there's this bedroom, bathroom, and this cottages. Primarily, these are going to be used by family, kids, you know, those teenagers just want to be, they want to have the ability to, to have their own space. Um, I think it's a great way to use the property. Um, again, the architecture is reflecting the way it has in terms of finishing the next one. No, Mr. Mark, I'm sorry, for you, can you just give me uh, the height of the and roof of those casitas? They're, they're 10 feet, and the roof height is another four feet. Mark, I'll, I'll get to know that one. Just going back to the gatehouse. Sure. Can I confirm the entrance is on the plan through the suit? Yes, yeah, yes. okay. It's yes. just that obviously one of the yes. things is it can't face so anyone out. Correct. Okay. And just at that point, uh, if you go back to the uh, yeah. Yeah. this will be the elevation from the street. 
So it's very much you know, a residential. Um, what I'd like to back up, if I could, and ask Tom to come up and just touch on the special exception before we continue. Can I just ask a question about how many total bedrooms are we talking here? Well, the four in the main house, two, six, five, 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 five. Yeah, no, yeah the, the main house, they were labeled these some of the sitting areas, you know, that um, and that was part of the original program. So we had four, six, eight, nine. Well, the gate house had one, so eight bedrooms. And the existing septic that you have can handle all of I'll those? I'll get into that one. So not to make Mr. Murphy's job any easier, uh, that's not my intent, but I will be happy to. Which is the first Which is the first Mr. Murphy. Um, we're looking at Two special exceptions. One is for the meeting house, which is permitted in the uh, beachfront zone district under certain um, stipulations, allows a 10 foot setback, which is really what we're looking at as far as what, what makes the gatehouse special set, uh, setback from the from it when it is. Uh, and then it's limited in height and size, height and square feet, things like that. The casitas do not require a special exception because they are under 300 square feet. Therefore, they are minor accessory structures and they're able to be located 15 feet from the property line, which they are. Uh, and then there is a pool on the north side, which is comparable to what we saw with uh, Dove Simon's Happy Life project, where he wanted a um, reduced setback because he ordered a non single family zone district. So, this is the same thing. They're looking for a reduced setback for the pool on the north side because they border a non state family zoning district. So it's the gatehouse and the pool that we're looking at as far as uh, special exception requests. Okay. Any statement? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Murphy, you articulated this far better than I can. Um, in some rights, and what we're doing, um, all of the uh, work, include, which includes the two guest houses, the pool and the gatehouse, are permitted in the beach district, provided that the square feet criteria are adhered to and provided that the setback criteria are adhered to. And so since we only have one uh, improvement that orders a residential property, Mr. and Mrs. James North Line on the south, that is a 15-foot setback. And those guest houses are under just under 300 feet. Um, similarly, the gatehouse, which borders A1A, um, is uh, a 500 uh, square foot uh, improvement as authorized by the code. And the setback uh, is uh, 15 feet at that point. Uh, and so with respect to the pool, which is a which is a fundamental um, part of um, our lives here in Gulfstream and certainly in the Beach District. This is um, this is commonplace with respect to the request. And given the parameters of square feet allowed on this beautiful lot, we're certainly not overdoing. Um, we're not approaching the maximum to which we are allowed, which is 17,000. Um, since we meet the criteria on uh, on square feet limitations and setbacks, um, I would respectfully ask the ARPD to approve uh, these these um, these structures. Thank you. Can you help me understand on the pool why we can't meet the 15 foot setback with all of that space? Yeah, I could and. Maybe Corey can explain it. Again, there's, and you can see it on the, this rendering here, there's a well established um, sea grape stand mm -hmm. strand um, that we want to kind of carve out the location. And, and that will, most of it will be in what's currently open space. And we want it to just nestle it in. Again, the whole character of this whole estate is to 
make things a little bit of a surprise. So it's not impacting anybody uh, on the north side. Have you talked to the Gulfstream? Yes, we have. Yes, there are. I mean, it's a pretty big. I understand that that because the golf club is not a residence, mm -hmm. you can get a special exception, but it is a special exception, meaning it's not part of the code. We, will, we don't allow just 10 feet you know, just because, otherwise, it'd be part of the code. But you're here asking for a special exception. So I'm trying to understand why five feet cannot be accommodated just because you happen to abut. Not well, I think club. it's, and, and we will confirm that with the club. We have a mutual agreement back and forth between the club and this property. So I'm sure we can get a note from the club that they have no objection to that. That's mm -hmm. which, you know, before we get to the finish. The things you know, Mark, we'll also sort of the neighbors. I don't know if you've got quite a neighbor there. Just... Yeah, sure. No, I, I we have not heard anything from anyone. Um, we did have a conversation with the south side property owner, which I did mention to Mr. March regarding uh, landscape screening and the buffer that's going to be maintained or put in the south side of the property. Yeah, correct. Thank you, Jack. Uh, yeah, the, this is our flying, the North Flying property. Uh, there is this, again, strand of sea grape, which we're trying to preserve. Um, what we're proposing here, and you'll see on the tree survey, we're not. The building is not actually encroaching at that very minimal, maybe in this corner here. So whatever is removed is going to be mitigated um, to create that buffer or reinstate that buffer if it's effective. I, I can tell you I've walked through that and it's, it's and I have actually walked it with this fellow point. So um, I think that assurance is pretty well guaranteed. Um, but we, we we do respect his concern. Um, and this is feedback when you see what you're proposing. Is my yes. Yeah. We, we did sit with him a great cell at length and, and went over the, the entire mm -hmm. packet we had. Um, and he had really no objection, but he did want to make sure that that buffer, it was very clear what was being done. So at a minimum, um, we would just suggest that maybe um, the applicant develop a more Detailed um, description as part of maybe a uh, part of what will be submitted to the commission as how that how that area will be impacted mm -hmm. in the south the new two story addition and then also perhaps the the casitas as well um, the, those were his concerns uh, and I think that you know certainly the the landscape architect has the ability to well that's if we could. Let me just take through and then I'll let uh, Corey come. Thanks, Mark. These are just, again, rendering just elevations going through. Oh, we start one more. That's that main entry that we're trying to highlight by the new walkway to the front door. That's a really huge canyon, which obviously is going to be preserved. Uh, and you can see that, again, the scale. Yeah, that's the next one here. This is the east again. With the palm trees that are, and we're looking for the beach here, either existing. And again, this is going to be that strand of sea grape on both edges of the property north and south. This is actually a gatehouse here. This is kind of what you'll see nestled in here. So it's not going to be apparent um, from the, the streets. So with that, I'll let me. Sorry, well, can you go back to the gatehouse? Which one of those is for the south? Uh, now you're testing me here. Uh, let's see, Castle. Mm -hmm. This is this is a street here. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, the one that's that's a north. Uh, we might not have. I can go back to the black and white one. To see what the south looks like, you can just say what the difference sure. uh, between the gatehouse and the north one is. In terms of the length, oh, that well, well it's the north okay. side. Yes, all right. Yeah. Good morning, Corey Meyer, the barrel design. I'm on. 
So if you go back to the right, I think that might be a little easier. Yeah. So, as Mark mentioned, we have the existing weapon we're keeping um, as it is. And then, as soon as we get into the property, we're realigning the driveway. So, it's a little more of a straight shot into the house. We're creating sort of like a existing secret tree and an existing motor port, which we're going to relocate into the middle of the new driveway. Kind of make sure cut off, you go close to the garages or into the main motor port. And once we're in the main motor port, that'll be kind of redone. It doesn't really function really well right now. Um, not much parking because we're tree in the middle of it. So we're we'll redoing that with stone material to give you more space for um, parking, turning around, and getting back out. And then again, Smart mentioned the new um, entryway. We're trying to really emphasize that because everybody seems to want to go to the corner right now. So we have we're shifting it over so it's all in alignment with this tree, and we're trying to camouflage this entrance into the house with some painting and a small sort of courtyard garden with a small fountain. I'm going to go back towards you have the gatehouse here, and the few existing pipes here. There's another even bigger than what we're burning here, pipes here between the gatehouse and the neighbor. There's a gumbo limbo and a ton of sea grate all along the perimeter. This existing sea grate trees that kind of follow where the old driveway was. All of that will stay in place. Where you have the meandering walkway that connects the casitas and the house. We're meandering that around to the existing sea grade. The goal is to not remove anything. Um, coming around here, another system with the sea grade head buffer. Anything we have to remove, we're we'll trying to relocate as much as possible. We'll fill back in the existing patch if there's any holes. We don't want to see them as much as they don't want to see us. So I think we have a, a shared goal there. We'll do whatever it takes to fill that back in and make sure we have the saw screen and again preserving as much of the material as possible. We can go around to the north side. We have a small little walkway and the pool, as you mentioned, it's nestled within an existing secret edge right now. It's just a little kind of a lawn area, so we're trying not to preserve the secret as much as possible. And that also kind of preserves existing views from the house out through the coconut palms to the ocean. It keeps it off to the side that way. All the coconut palms are using the fantastic tall trees. Um, I'm going to go ahead and scroll through. The elevations you've seen show most of this is the existing material. Um, not planting much material at all. It's basically just around the foundations of the new buildings. Um, Rihanna ficus, super material, a lot of native species. Just to fill that in. Visible line drawings kind of showing the same thing. That I just talked about. Yeah. So, no. Talk about it. Well, uh, I mean, uh, you went by the same uh, chief that had the north, south, uh, I'm sorry, north, west, and east uh, elevations of the gate house. I'm just curious what the south elevation Let's go over Sorry. But it looks like from, from the, no, no, the, the, the black overhead, which ones? Completely blocked. Uh, Even you can see from the there's a gatehouse. It yeah. is, it's just totally messy. Yeah, and that's what it looks like. Behind, yeah. here, like, <laughs> this is where the old coins here. Right. Now, they have a fence, a wood fence that's in excess of seven feet. So from a, a high level. We're not affecting that. We're going to, as Corey said, we're going to supplement that then and keep what's there. So, because we don't want to see that wood fence, it's not the most attractive. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, uh, does that answer your question? Yeah, I mean, I, I can see that the, 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 the gate house is totally left off of the it's outside right here. Yeah. And the seams are 14 feet high. To the river. Yeah. Or, mm -hmm. All right, you could continue and I'll go to the second most exciting part. All right, this is a civil for the drainage. So let's go back to go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the question, if I, this is, we will be putting a new drain field under that wall. 
obviously, uh, or any of these out of buildings. Go to the less than school, we have to let them yes, change. yes, and then this will be there. The main this is in that lawn, that beautiful lawn, that kind of cascade. You know, that's where the existing septic. Uh, this some of this may go there, so it's been calculated all on site. There's no, no issue there, and then you can see it. We've got new drainage proposed for the driveway. Driveway is most likely going to stay a um, stone pebble uh, gravel driveway. Uh, again, there's just a lot of beautiful areas to work with. So um, these are all just the so this is and just for your information, the town does not permit the uh, the septic mm -hmm. systems that's the health department. Yeah, the health department. And because of our size, we can have more than one drain paper. That may be what looked your question. Mm -hmm. Well, the federal shutters is they look I mean they are what they are, but yeah. just it's slightly different on that for example in addition. So yeah, I, I, it's on the you know dead tabs and the, the, they're, the, they're matching existing time. The most the most yeah. This is what it did on this yeah. and just to confirm everything's matching. So again, you can see by the rendering here that this is what we're adding by this new pergola here and making what's going to be the breakfast area for this basically a guest wing uh, service here. This is the arrival area, the new water port coming in. As I mentioned, this is the gym in one story up. Element again with one of the progression as you arrive, we only compete with the main house. So this is set up for single to two story. And this is, as Corey said, this is the entry here. That we're trying to have people reflect to this new area here and then walk towards the front door of the house. Normal progression and the band in the last one. That's it? No. That's it. Yeah, not one. Just not. Okay. <laughs> come come forward it yourself. <laughs> it's okay, but this explains, you know, that the band in the preservation. So I'll ask is there any questions that the board may have? Um can I go back to the tangling of the trees? Is that something now that we do all the time. No, we, we know we've had some issues in this way that not kind of campaign and so it will be possible in the future for maybe to, to tag trees because we've had this issue where they're all tagged. Yeah, way. no, I said it's, it's fantastic. Was, was that basically best practice anyway? Or was it um, yeah, yeah, and you want feedback. Is that something you do all the time? No, well, yeah, we like to, especially in a project like this where there's a lot of trees, we need a way to keep track of them. Yes. Because it's precisely located to and Mark needs it to place the buildings properly. I need it to place the lockers and drivers properly for that one behind. You know, we've had a couple of applications where the, the trees have been key on the side. And um, we'll straight back into that. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Thanks, bro. Now, I'm sorry, bro. It's going to take this only the future. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'll answer any questions. Any other questions you can do? It's all wrong. It's, I don't know if we got a good answer on the pool. I mean, I understand that it's a lot of that also to what Eric said. So there is a lot of room there to yeah. break by feet unless you're trying to work it into the existing seabeds. That's, that's the first hand. Right before us here. Right now we're going to try and keep it away from the house. I mean, the pool for the last almost 30 years has never been an item of sure. desire. And the idea now is to have it there, but not compete with the house or the lawn. Or, and then, you know, everybody, majority of people put it straight in front of the main house. Yeah. So we want to kind of tuck it down the property. We have sort of a special exception based on the fact that we're on the 18th pole golf course to achieve that. So it's a number of items that are in play. You can know the one thing that you could jump out is the special exception. If you look at the size of that line, they might even bother with the special exception. We have to go to do it again. Again, the serenity of that long is. I understand. 
unique. You can appreciate it when you walk in the beach. You can see it. I, I personally mark just so you know. I still think that there's got to be a way for you guys to have configured a reasonably sized pool without having a special exception. This is a large pool, and what I can gather based off of my guesstimate using the pergola as a as a guide, it's a really it's a, it's a huge pool. So you know, I just I understand. I think it's like a 12 bedroom house by my count. So I understand the need for an apartment sized pool. No, it's not, it's not an apartment type of <laughs> condition. No, but I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a am I correct? It's about 12 bedrooms when you consider no, you, the, you, the, the manager's the bedrooms, bedroom. No, the, the other three, there are nine bedrooms. But look at So you've got bedroom bedroom. number six labeled on the main yeah. house. Yeah. It's, 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 those are five, actually sitting rooms. rooms. Um, for each one, and that's a characteristic of the house is that each house, each bedroom has its own area to retire or enjoy. So they were mislabeled. There are two there on the ocean side. Um, in fact, just for history, I'll tell you that's where Mr. Smith, before he unfortunately passed, used to go and just nap and do his, it was like an office. So it's, it's, it was mislabeled. So. But you are adding six new sleeping areas. Four. Six. With Three in the, in the, the gatehouse, two casinos, two major bedrooms, and then there's a bedroom for the uh, manager, the house manager. One bedroom. In, in, the, the, in the new. There's two or five. Because you consider the one that, even though it has its own bathroom, private room, cash is considering that that would not be a house manager room. Okay. Into, into. I, I found it to be one of the gates that's fast, and two and two suites and over and this on this spot. House manager that you have labeled, but then you said when they're in residence, the house manager will move out to the gatehouse. No, the house manager, that's a management office day to day, or, you know, things. That's the security and everything. So where does that person stay during? Pops up. So I think so. And it's a current position that we're in. So he'll just come. There's none of that in the main house as it exists. So that's the reasons for that. In terms of motions, um, there's a couple of points that we have to make sure this moves forward to the commission. Um, a more detailed landscape plan. That's one. The other one with that mislabeled would have to be addressed. Yeah. Um, and the other one was, in terms of this 10 foot foot setback, I know you said that the goal cover for the neighbors, just formal um, feedback. Sure. Um, that's it. Okay. Um, Greg, your point of the casita landscape is to be happy with it. Uh, yeah, so just um, 14 feet. I mean, what the neighbor of the south would be able to see from the first floor and then the second floor. Not much. Mr. Chairman, I think what you should say in motion is we'd like a two-bit position uh, for the south side. Right. All right, 
next to that, uh, the motions related to this application. For this work. So I think we will recommend approval of respective exception to allow the yes. side set back 10 feet for the pool per section 7 F 75 B, provided we get formal feedback from the Gulf and Gulf Second that. Mr. Canfield? Yes. Mrs. Power? No. Chairman Murphy? Yes. I can make a motion to recommend approval of such an exception to permit the construction of 5,000 square foot gatehouse and 500 square foot gatehouse. I know it's a big rock, but each one did refer to section 70 F75. Second. Mr. Canfield? Yes. Mrs. Power? Chairman Murphy? Yes. I can make a motion to recommend approval of a land clear to remove and relocate. The existing landscaping, primarily in the northeast and southeast areas of the property, to create sufficient area to accommodate proposed new building improvements. Mr. Canfield? Yes. Mrs. Power? Yes. Chairman Murphy? Yes. I'd like to make a motion to recommend approval of a North Ocean Overlook permit to permit the construction of a 500 square foot gatehouse and remove and relocate some existing trees to accommodate new proposed guest house structures. Second. Mr. Canfield? Yes. Mrs. Power? Yes. Chairman Murphy? Yes. I can make a motion to recommend approval of a demolition permit to demolish some of the existing structures. Yes, that's our second. Mr. Canfield? Yes. Mrs. Power? Yes. Chairman Murphy? Yes. I'd like to make a motion to recommend approval of a level three architectural site plan review to permit the addition of a new two story wing on the south side of the existing residence, new gatehouse, two new guest house buildings, new pool, new driveway location modifications to the existing landscape and hardscape, but also provide a more detailed landscape plan moving forward. Chairman, specifically, is that? Oh, yes. Okay, so that was part of that one. Okay. You want to accept the motion for that one? Or include it in this? Okay. And also provide a true disposition of the south side property information. Mr. Canfield. Yes. Mrs. Power. Chairman Murphy. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Tom. And with that, we move on to Mike and Corey. Stop. Get your last name. Thank you, Chairman. Get your last name. Age before me, but. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. And items by board members. In that case, communication from the public. Very good. Very thoughtful. Great. With that, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Mark. Thank you, Mr. Mark. Which one are you talking to? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to stay here. Thank you. Thank 